Hey guys, Tammy here, and I'm back with another mug bank, okay? And I better know what you're wondering. Tammy, who's this guy? Okay, well, if you don't follow me on Instagrams and all my social medias, you know it. But this guy here is my, one of my really good friends, Rafe Williams. What up, everybody? And it's been long overdue that we do a mug bank together. Mm -hmm. Hold on. How you doing? I'm all right. Hey, I'm good. Just give me one minute, please. Yes, Thank you. Me. We're at Lion's Choice. Yeah. I've never been here. I'm in St. Louis. And Rafe said, we got to go to Lion's Choice. It's great. It's a local roast beef chain. It's known for its best fries, awesome roast beef sandwiches. We're going to get the hookup today. Okay. <clears throat> all right. What do you want? I would like the king. Uh, oh, where's it at? Uh, famous roast beef, the okay. king, baby, king. with cheese, fries, and a, a Diet Coke. Okay. Could I get the number one king with fries and a Diet Coke? And then could I do another, uh, a number one original? With cheese added to that. Please provel cheddar. Cheddar is like cheddar. Cheddar. Uh, yeah, cheddar or provel. Provel is a very. I'll do provel. Did Louis you get cheese, cheese on yours? I would like cheese on the king. Coke, uh, a Coke, please. And can I add the provel to that king as well? Yes, ma'am. What else can I get for you? And then we should try something else, no? Yeah. Any sauce? Any sauce? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's. Regular Coke, too, on the uh, regular beef, or just on the Diet Coke, too. Regular. I, I, I ain't on no diet. <laughs> okay. Hell no. I like that sugar. Give me the regular. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, could we get um, ketchup? Yeah. What kind of sauce? What kind of sauce <coughs> you got, man? Horseradish, barbecue Ooh. sauce, Chipotle Ridge, Hadoo. Ooh. Horseradish. Sauce, another barbecue sauce, honey mustard. Oh. Okay. Okay. Could you hook me up with extra the horseradish? We love that shit. Okay. And then give me some au jus. Yes, ma'am. That's it. Unless you want to get some mac and cheese or something. Let's do. Let's do a side of mac and cheese. Yeah. Ooh, they have a broccoli cheddar soup. I, I'm not. Okay. Lying. And uh. Yeah, that's it. That'll do us. Okay, I got you down for a King Roast Beef Meal Pro Bell Cheese with a Diet Coke, a regular Roast Beef Meal Pro Bell Cheese, a regular Coke ketchup, horseradish, and I do want to make it. <coughs> you got it. Yep. $2.43. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, as soon as she said horseradish, it oh, was yeah. over. It was, it was over. Horseradish. Hook us up. Don't skip on that shit. Okay, if you don't know uh, who Rafe is, um, you're sleeping on it, okay? <laughs> uh, Rafe is not only my friend, tell him a little bit about yourself. He's a stand-up comedian. That's true. Um, go ahead. I'm stand-up comedian, uh, improviser, sketch, writer, and... Actor. Damn, he's funny. Oh, yeah, I'm funny as fuck. You're going to see uh, and also, uh, recently a radio personality. I started doing radio and saying I live in St. Louis, Missouri, and, uh, you guys probably know, uh, my, my gal, Tuna. I was just about to say. Tina D-Ball. Tina, one of my best friends, if you've came to one of my shows. How you doing? I'm on the YouTubes, huh? The I know, I'm like tripping. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mine better be the large. They gave us a large and a medium, and mine better be the large. And I and I don't think it is. Mine's poked. Yours says cola. Damn. Sean, what you got? What I got? This does not bode well for me right out of the gate. I got special treatment. I should have. That's. Hey, thank you. That's on me. I should have known better than to not ask for a large. That's on me. But back to what I was saying. If you came to a show, Tina, we call her Tuna, because her pussy stinks. Yeah. Um, 
She uh, like is on, onions. Bad. Mm -hmm. She's on the show with us. She opens for me. They've been banging for, God, over seven years now? Long time. A long time. A lot of 69s. He's been up in there many times, is what we're trying to say. Mm -hmm. um, so if y'all are like, oh, okay, that guy looked familiar. That's who he is. That's who he is. It's me. And we've been meaning to mukbang for a long time. And finally I said, let's just, let's just, let's fucking do it, man. We're in St. Louis. Uh, you're visiting. And I was like, let's go to a, a local St. Louis fast food icon, Lion's Choice. And now we're here and we're about to pound some roast beef. Y'all know speaking I got it. You love pounding roast beef. Yeah, speaking of tuna's pussy. I love pounding roast you beef. You love pounding roast beef. Whoa! Now, let's just get into it. I know we have we ha don't have our food yet, and this is your first mukbang. Yeah. But let's just get into it. When you're down there, do you like a roast beef pussy? Uh, is it know, fun? All the layers and stuff. Sometimes I like. Sometimes I do like having some layers to sort through. It's kind of like you ever go to you go on a field trip when you were a kid to where you looked like dig for dinosaur bones in one of those fake sandboxes or something like that. Yeah. That's kind of what finding the clit with a really roast beefy pussy is like. And when you're bored and there's nothing else to do? Yeah. <laughs> Stretch That's, it out? Yeah. You can kind of move it around. Now, I like a tucked away pussy too. Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not a, I don't not like when one is tucked away. Um, you just like them all. I, I like them all. I like yeah. a little variety, but I, I, no hate. Asymmetrical, symmetrical, Whatever. And this is what my mukbanks are all about, Rafe. Getting to know you. Great. If I have a guest that's not maybe a regular, because you know, Crystal's regular, Daryl's regular. If I have a special guest on, which I don't do often, we really want to get to know you right away. Yeah. You know, what you like, you know, type of stuff. Sure. Um, You know who you look like right now with that backwards hat? Ooh. That guy from 98 Degrees? What guy? The lead singer's brother. The one that nobody liked. Nick Lachey's brother? Yes. Rick Lachey? Rick. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's Rick Lachey. Don't look that up, but I'm pretty sure it's Rick Lachey. Yeah. I think it's the V-neck. Probably. It's the V-neck that really threw I me kinda off. I kind of got like a generic, uh, generic meathead white guy quality. In a good way. In a good way. It's not who I am on the inside, uh, but it is definitely who I am on the outside, so... We'll get past that. We'll all get past it. Rick Lachey. Yes. <laughs> absolutely. Well, oh, here we go. Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. That sounds like a guy who sells real estate. Richard Lachey. Oh, oh. There we go. We got it. Nice to meet you. I'll see you next time. B bye. Doesn't that kind of sound like a dude who sells real estate in, like, Santa Monica? Richard Lachey? Yeah. <laughs> hey, everyone. Richard Lachey here. <laughs> you can, uh, do you want to learn how to flip houses? <laughs> <laughs> and you got the voice for it. Yeah. And, hey, look in that bag and see what she hooked us up with. Dude, it's loaded up. With horseradish. We got horseradish. We got clearly au jus of <sighs> some kind. Looky here. I'm going to put that on the dash slowly. Perfect spot. Carefully. Yeah, we got a good spot. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Let's get into that. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got some, some all you got out of the bag. I'm going to just go ahead and disperse with that now. Mm. Work here. Mm, that coke's good. <laughs> All right. Tons of horsey. Hold that up. Tap with me. Come on. And before I get a million fucking comments saying, Tammy, where'd you get your shirt? Tammy, where'd you get your shirt? It's a tie dye that says that'll do me. Where do you think I got it? My own merch. Yes, we do sell these. Eatmytrash.com. Eatmytrash.com. Richard Lachey here. <laughs> do it. Give a little infomercial. Listen, Richard Lachey gets all of his merchandise. Before I do an open house, I go to eatmytrash.com. I furnish the entire place. 
And when people come to see it, it's a slam dunk. I'm telling you, put in an offer before you leave because this these properties are going like hotcakes, baby. Hell yeah. And listen, every month bank, am I not saying I'm putting the links down in the description? Check them out. Some of y'all don't check them out. Otherwise, you know I sell this. You act like I put the links down there for no reason. Get your shit together, people. Okay, I'm going to try these fries here. Okay. Okay. They smell fresh cut. These don't smell it. frozen. Oh, they're fresh cut. You uh, got it? You're on it? I didn't even tell you that either. No, you didn't. That's a pro. I, well, I know. That's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm here to do is really examine the food, review the food, and give people my honest opinion. And I'm never letting them down. Crispy. Yep. Crispy. Salty, but soft on the inside. I like that. I mean, my my mukbang viewers know that I'm not a huge fry guy. Like, I'll eat a couple and I'll move on. I could eat this whole thing. That's how good they are. I'm usually the same way. I've never been a french fry head. Everybody... I feel like you're one or the other. Mm -hmm. People who love fries go on and on. Even, whatever, even if it's McDonald's, which I know is supposed to be this. I'm always like, the fry is a side. It is not yeah. ever the centerpiece for me. You have a couple fries and you move on. But these are good. Let me get my little micro baby drink here. <laughs> I'd love a gallon of Coke right now, so I'm trying to spare it. Okay. Let's show y'all what we got here. They hooked us up on sauces. Okay, here's your king. All right. I'll Open that up. up. Tell people a little bit about what's on it. Maybe give them a couple taps. That way they can see it well. Okay. Let me do this. King cut roast beef is a double helping. A fresh cut roast beef. Get a little closer to it. Okay. Open it up. She's thick. She thick. She's thick. She thick, and she got all that Provel cheese melted right in the middle. It's hard juicy. to see. Juicy. Oh, it's juicy. It's fresh cut. They cut everything. You can see the cheese right there. Okay. You gotta take a little bit of Lion's Choice horseradish. Okay. And when we were pulling up, I told Rafe, I said, Lion's Choice, that's a weird name why'd they name it lion's choice and he said yeah i didn't i lived in st louis and didn't eat this for probably a good five years because i didn't get it i was like Lion, lion's choice kind of sounds like uh <clears throat> sounds like a grocery store that's for what alpha I said. males or Th something like that. that's what i said sounds like somewhere richard lachey would do all his shopping yeah <laughs> you know uh so i was like oh this place probably sucks what a terrible name then got recommended to me and I started thinking about it and it got explained to me. I was like, oh, beef, lion's choice, roast beef. Like obviously the lion. The lion would pick. The meats. The meat, which made sense. And then I thought, okay. Yeah, they could explain it better. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. So I got the same sandwich. I just didn't get as much meat because I really like to focus on equal parts meat, equal parts cheese, mm -hmm. equal parts horseradish. I don't want it to be meat overload for me. So that's why I picked the right. original. We did a side by side. Turned here <laughs> sideways. Those are the two types of pussies we were talking about earlier. <laughs> right. Like that's a nice tucked away little puss. Nice. And this is a big old floppy fucking. This is going to take you all day. Right. To, to service it, but it's worth it. It's worth it in the end. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. First bite. Here First we go. Bite. Mm. Damn. I'd be embarrassed to admit you lived here five years and didn't didn't get this every day. I know. I didn't want to admit it, but I was trying to be... You don't want to start off as a liar. That's not the Richard Lachey way. 
so. I mean, that's good. That is good, man. I mean, that is. And you know what? The horseradish makes it. Yeah, horseradish sells it, but it's like nice. You can tell it's been there's some au jus too. Oh, I'll dip in the au jus. Let's yeah. a, let's answer a question though before we before we dig in the au jus. Okay. Now, people didn't know that you was going to be. Well, you're out of the mukbang. You got to lean over. All Let right. Let me try to move this. Here, I'm good. I was just leaning in for a bite. People didn't know you was going to be on my mukbang. Okay. Um, so these questions weren't for you, but I'm going to add your name because you're here now and, and you need to answer these in your honest opinion. Okay. okay. Tammy, Rafe, what does a queef smell like? Mm -hmm. You want to take this first? You want me to go for it? Because I, I, I got right away. You go for it because I have some queef opinions. I'll follow up on you. Okay. Here's the thing. A queef is going to smell like whatever environment you're in. So, if I'm, you know, uh, inside of a McDonald's sitting in one of those little booths, it's going to smell like a McRib. Mm. Um, if I'm on a softball field, it's going to smell up my new leather glove. Oh. Um, you know, like, it, 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 you, it adapts to the environment it's in. At least my pussy does. Yes. Yeah, so your pussy's like... <laughs> rogue from x-men like you have <laughs> the queef is like it absorbs whatever's around it and uses that power back out into the world that's that's a powerful pussy right you got rogue pussy dude right <laughs> that's huge that's fucking huge well how do you think i've kept daryl happy all, all this time that's true you know he is obsessed with me he is but we'll talk about daryl later but here's the thing my thing is whatever environment i'm in is what it smells like Okay. Honestly, you know, now you go ahead. Uh, yeah, I think queefs, um, most of the time, I'll be honest, don't even smell. Mm. I've always thought, that's why I, I have a problem with our society and the way we treat queefs. The way we treat, the way we treat queefs. Cotty eats cool queefs. Dairy Queen. Not different commercial. Because um, if you think about it, f farts are totally acceptable. Everybody's cool to fart. But when you somebody queefs, it's a big deal. Yeah. But farts stink, dude. Farts are offensive. Farts get farts, farts smell like shit. They right. get in your nose and they smell like shit almost all the time. Queef never hurt anybody, dude. Hell, in the fall, models smell like an apple pumpkin pumpkin candle. Exactly. And you're gonna sit there and tell me you're offended by that? How dare you? Of course he smells like a Yankee candle, dude. Yankee candles actually approach Tammy to make a Tammy candle. They have, and I'm I haven't told anybody that yet because I'm working on my own candle uh, company. Why would I work for Yankee Candle exactly. when they need me more than I need them? Exactly. But I didn't sign that contract. I think it might be a sexist thing because I think if men queefed, it'd be fine. And wouldn't men queefs be funny? I think about that a lot too. Yeah. Because like we got our hole so much smaller. And if we queefed, you're going to have a little air bubble yep. going all the way down the shaft of your dick until it gets to the end, and it's going to sound like you ever blow up a balloon, and then... You're right. Queef coming out of me would sound like... Queef, 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 queef. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. And, Rafe, I've never thought about that, but you're right. Yeah. I've given this some thought. That's my take on queefs. You're not wrong. Normalize queefs. Yes, please. God, I need to put that on a T-shirt. <laughs> hey, do you do. Just normalize them. Eatmytrash.com. Get your new normalized queefs t-shirt. It's going to happen. Okay, now I'm going to dip it in the au jus sauce they gave me. Okay. And it looks just like a like a dark brown uh, beef liquid is what that is. Yeah. I think. So there it is. You can see right there. And I'm just going to dip. I'm going to lightly dip like this. Ready? And I'm just going to dip. dip. Dip again. Okay. And just let it drip. Dip one more time and let it drip. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna give it a try here. Here we go. Dip, dip, let it drip. Mm. Dip, dip, let it drip. You don't mm. wrote a song. Dip, dip, mm. dip, let it drip. Oh, dip, dip, let it drip. Mm. Give it a little dipper over here. Mmm. Give me a little dippy here. Oh man. That's good. I don't like it as much as the horseradish. It might be too much. 
I think you might have to go one way or the other. Yeah, instead of both. Because it's pretty salty. That is one thing I will say. The beef is very, very well salted. I'm going to give it a little dip. A little dip and let it drip. Bloop, bloop, dip, dip, letting it drip. Yep. Dip, dip, letting it drip. My name is Lachey Rick. <laughs> dip, dip, letting it drip. <laughs> okay, let's answer the next question. Mm. Tammy. That was a good bite. A lot of horseradish in that one. Ooh, and that horseradish is spicy was, and hot, it and it's, it's, it's <laughs> good. That was a good bite. Tammy, what city are you most excited to visit for tour? Well, I'm excited for all of them. Um, and you might see Rafe at a couple shows. Because sometimes if he's, you know, if he can be there, I'll say, Rafe, get your ass up there yeah. and do a set. And he blows the audience away. If you've came to my show before and he's blown your ass away, drop a comment down below. So you may see him there. Okay, I'm excited for all of them, but honestly, I'm excited for the Toronto Canada show. Yeah. Because I've never been to Canada. Never at all. Mm -mm. And I've never had a show there. So, I'm excited for that. I'll have to live through you. You know, I'm excited for that. I have too many damn DUIs. Oh, they won't let you in. Canada does not. Okay. Fuck around with DUIs. Yeah. You get to the border, you got a Dewey to be 10 years old. Canada Canada acts like you fucking robbed the bank. Well. You need to chill out. Honestly. Well, I've never been caught by the law on anything. So I have a pretty good chance of getting in and doing that show. You'll get in. You'll get in. We'll see if Tina gets in. Remains to be seen. But why are you excited? What are you most excited about in Toronto? What do you think? just been in another country i'm gonna get there a couple days early so i'm gonna explore the city um i don't know just i wonder if it's gonna be different is it gonna be like the show actually you know i just i don't know i'm excited for it and then straight after that we're going across the border to but back to buffalo and i'm excited for those shows because i've never been to buffalo i've never done shows there i've done shows in new york Albany and the city, but never Buffalo. So I'm excited. What do you think your queef would smell like in Toronto? <sighs> Since it adapts to its environment like X Men's Rogue. I imagine Toronto being crispy in terms of the weather. Mm -hmm. It's going to have a little chill, a little crispy. The air's going to be fresh. So this may be the best smelling queef I've ever laid. <sighs> like a fresh linen queef? Yes. Okay. Like a fresh linen on the on the outside, blowing through the wind, queef. Okay, but well then when you cross the border into Buffalo, what would that queef smell like? Greasy food. <laughs> you know, like a bird, like a you know a diner burger hot and wings. stuff like. Yeah, yeah, Buffalo exactly. Wings. It's gonna smell like hot wings. Hey, you know what? These fries are slapping. They are slapping. I can't stop eating them. Okay, let's see Speaking another of, uh, one. pussies in Buffalo and Toronto, you going to go to Niagara Falls? How far is that? It's right there. Then I, you're going to... Gonna... Buffalo, Niagara Falls, Toronto, it separates them. The, I've heard the Canadian side is the pretty side, so if you're going to do it, I'd do it in Toronto. Okay. See, I didn't know how far. I knew it was up there somewhere. Well, I may go do that. Oh, that's going to be fun. Ooh, damn, I wish you were coming. Me too. Damn. Just okay. stand on the buffalo side and wave. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Tammy, Rafe, have you seen the YouTube video of the dude's butthole? Have you seen this? I don't know. What do you mean? Like inside? Somebody sent it to me and I was blown away. There's this guy on YouTube and the video is still up and it's gotten like 50 million views. <laughs> okay. Of him doing a educational tutorial on how to nair the hair off your butthole. Ooh, I can actually use that. And this motherfucker stands up, no pants or underwear on, bends over and spreads his asshole. And since it's educational, they leave it up. They leave it up. But if I say fuck or pussyhole or something, mm. I get restricted. 
My shit's educational too. I've learned a lot already today. And you know what? This is a real estate tutorial. It's a real estate tutorial. <laughs> Richard Lachey. Okay? You want to learn how to flip houses? Nail your asshole? How to create a pussy that can exactly. manifest queefs? Well, you've come to the right place. Mm. So you haven't seen that video? No, but I'm going to go watch it I'll immediately. Send it to, I'll send it to you. It's wild. I have watched. Here's the thing. I have seen some videos on YouTube also probably up. I wondered how they were up, and that makes sense. I watched one where it was a guy showing you how to stretch your dick <laughs> to make your dick bigger. Well, and exercises to do and ways to pull on it. And, like, these daily exercises to, like, wow, basically milk your dick to make it. Because here's the thing. And that's on YouTube? Mm-hmm. And I was watching this just for research purposes. Of course. Okay. I don't. Of course. My right. thing is, I'm an actor. I often think, what would it be like to be in Game of Thrones? Right. Right? Or some sort of thing like that. I am, I don't have a big dick, okay? I don't have a small dick. It's it's good enough. It's good enough. Yeah. Tina likes it. In right. 69, it fits. Right. But I, I'm a grower, not a shower. And I always, I've been jealous of showers. I'd mm -hmm. like to be able to walk around set with a nice shower. I just wanted my, I didn't, I don't want a larger penis. I want a larger limp penis. You know what I mean? Like you don't want a limp. And that makes sense. So I was just trying to figure out, hey, if I stretch it out a little bit. And that's why he's watching the educational video. If I need to tune it up on set. Right. How do I get it tuned up in my trailer quick, fast, and in a hurry? Well, he does a lot of stuff acting-wise, but he's also in Tammy Bangs, That's right. by the way, which drops, oh gosh. Soon. This week or next week, I can't remember. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but it's very soon. He is in Tammy Bangs. He's phenomenal, and you guys will need to check out season three. I'll put the link down below. Speaking of, we got a little exciting uh, news for you. Okay, <clears throat> Rafe is dropping a brand new stand-up special called Young Grandpa, and guess what? It's going to be right here on my YouTube's channel. Okay, tell when it comes out. September 27th, which is soon. Real uh, soon. We're going to do, uh, I believe it's at 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central, and you can do the rest of the math for the rest of the country. Yep. Uh, we're going to do a premiere with a live chat. Tammy and I are both going to be in it. Chatting with you as you're watching it. And um, I've seen it. It's fucking funny. You got a trailer for it? I got a trailer for it. We're going to drop, watch the trailer. We're going to drop it right now. Let's just get this out of the way. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my life. I found out when I was 36 years old that I was a grandfather. I had a son at a very young age, and he returned a favor <laughs> by giving me a granddaughter when he turned 15, because my family likes to fuck like we're on the Oregon Trail. <laughs> we're losing people to typhoid, apparently. We got to get to fucking, or we're never going to make it to Portland. <laughs> I was single when I found out. That's a tough one. Cause I can promise you guys this, there ain't nobody trying to be Pop Pop's girlfriend at Thanksgiving. <laughs> How do you bury that lead in an online dating profile? You're like, I'm looking for somebody that loves to laugh, loves to travel, wants to be called Mima for the rest of her natural life. <laughs> so I've been putting myself out there trying to mingle with other single grandpas. Been hanging out at Denny's at two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Walking around buck naked in YMCA locker rooms, just giving advice to people whether they ask for it or not. Do like, you want some stock tips? <laughs> Pop Pop's home. <laughs> What y'all think of that? <clears throat> that was just a piece.
of what you'll see. Hey, y'all don't gotta go to the movie theater. Y'all don't gotta go to Netflix, okay? Y'all are already right here on my channel. Tammy presents Young Grandpa. And here's the thing. You are a grandpa. I am a grandpa. When? What age did you become a grandpa? I became a grandpa when I was 36 years old. So. Because we be fucking. <laughs> so that's kind of what the special is. You know, that's where that comes from. It's hilarious. Um, please watch it when it comes out. And it's going to be awesome. Watch it. Share it. Help me uh, get it out there. I just want people to see it. Yep. Okay. I just, I'm really proud of it. It's like. Uh, oh, 10, I'm proud of it, man. 10 years of my comedy life. I'm really proud of how it turned out, and uh, I'm excited uh, to be the first one in a new series of Tammy, Tammy Presents. Presents. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. And there'll be more to come, if, hopefully, as long as mine doesn't go tits up. So, if you guys watch it, you'll get more. Exactly. Who knows who'll be next? Could be Tuna. <clears throat> Could be Libby. Could exactly. Could be Tammy herself. You never know. If y'all watch, if y'all like and watch this special, I may put one out. Who knows? <laughs> Um, did they give us a oh a fork for the mac and cheese? We forgot to try the mac and cheese. Oh, it's right here. I figured that you were saving that. It's a coup d'etat. Okay, before we go on to the mac and cheese, let's answer another question. Okay. Okay. And this was a really good question. Tammy, Rafe, would you be mad if a guy nutted in your food and didn't tell you? Well, yeah, because nut's not for food. Nut is for your mouth. Nut is for your titties. Nut is for a hole. It's not for food. You know what I'm saying? So, I want nut where it's for. If I'm eating a roast beef and I ask for extra horseradish, but instead you put extra nut, I'm going to be mad because I expected the taste of horseradish. Yes, and that's going to throw the salt levels of a roast beef sandwich way the fuck off. Thank you. We don't don't fuck with my food! Yeah. Nuts served separately. That is the Richard Lachey way. <gasps> Write it down. Nuts served separately. Second shirt. Rafe, we haven't done a thumbnail. And your sandwich is gone, ain't it? We didn't do a thumbnail. It's okay. You're going to hold up. That's okay. Hold up your uh, drink. Okay. I'm going to hold up the sack. And here's the thing on a mukbang. Here's the thing on a thumbnail. When people are scrolling, uh -huh. the thumbnail is what they're going to see on the picture. So the thumbnail needs to be shocking. Because uh -huh. if, we're, if we're sitting here doing this, Rafe, yeah. nobody's going to stop and watch that. Uh -huh. But if they see us doing something like... Or... They're going to go, whoa, yes. They're going to go, whoa, what's going on there? And they're going to watch it. So it's called clickbait. All right. Okay, so just clickbait. do it. Clickbait. Yep. You ready? Clickbait. Clickbait. Oh. Clip, sorry, clipbait. All right. But let's call it clickbait. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Now do another face. Got it. We got it. Damn, you're good at that. I wasn't expecting you to be so good at that. Thanks. Damn. Clip bait. I'm a man of many talents. You you say clit in front of him, and this guy will this guy will show up. I wake up. I wake up, dude. It's like a Manchurian candidate. I mean, you will really get up there. Okay, once you dig into the uh, mac and cheese. Okay. You do the first bite. Let me know how it is. The the more middle you get on this, the saltier the meat is. I yeah. It's Isn't that weird? Mm hmm. All right, this looks like a cheddar-based mac and cheese. Tap it. Here we go. Turn it over. Yep. Yeah, lean it, flip it a little bit. Ooh, daddy. Good Make job. It was... Good job. Yeah. You know it's ready. Yeah. So you know it's ready. Mm-hmm. That's how Richard Lachey knows his mac and cheese is all warmed up for him. All right, let me try a bite. What you think? Creamy, perfect temp. And here's the thing. We only got one fork. We're good friends. 
I don't want to hear nobody in the fucking comments saying, Oh, she ate after him on his fork. Nobody gives a fuck. No one. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what you think. Oh, oh, ready? I'll eat that later. Mmm. Okay. It's good. It's not as good as the fries and sandwich. Agreed. Like, I probably wouldn't get this again. But it's not bad, but it's not like, ooh. It was a game time decision we made. We wanted to try something. That's what I do here on my mukbangs. I like to try things. I want to go back again. I'll try something else. Yeah. Fries and sandwich are what they're famous for. Lion's Choice. They're, they're fresh cut fries. It's fresh cut deli. Fresh cut roast beef and turkey. If you go inside, they cut it in front of you. Uh, it's been around forever. And we love a show. <clears throat> I love a show, dude. We love a show. I love it. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to hop off here. Um, let me know where you want to see me eat next, where you want me to mukbang next. <clears throat> and uh, Rafe, anything else you want to throw in there? Hey, I'm going to put Ra all of Rafe's information on down below. Go follow him on Instagram. Instagram. I am Rafe Williams on everything. Instagram, uh, TikTok, everything. It's all the same. I am Rafe Williams. R-A-F-E and it'll all be down there. So, Yep. I yep. had fun. Uh, also follow me at Richard Lachey. <laughs> <laughs> follow me at Richard Lachey. Flipshouses.com at Richard Lachey. Flipshouses.com. 98 degrees of sales. That's great. That's great. Yeah. And thank y'all for joining us on today's mukbang. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.